Hello, hi, welcome back. This is Dilliard speaking from the Open Wardrobe Gang, and welcome to another episode of our blind playthrough of Salt and Sanctuary. Um, a little PSA for today's episode. I have a kind of a sore throat, so if any voice cracks occur, um, you'll you'll know the reason. Um, but you know, I really wanted to keep playing, I really wanted to push through, and this is why we are um, we are playing in the state in which we are currently. Um, as you can see, um, we backtracked a little bit off camera, and we are here uh, next to the first merchant that we've um, ever encountered, because I wanted to once again, check out the items that he had to sell to us, and maybe, possibly, he has something new and exciting to tell us. I don't know. Let's find out. Hello, friend. Trinkets to sell, trinkets for coin. If I remember correctly, this is the same thing that he said to us last time. I don't know, maybe I, we can talk, talk it out somehow. No, 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 this is the same thing. Lock of hair and endless fang, bolts, torches, stained pages. Oh, wait a minute. If I remember correctly, he only had the, these two uh, sets of gear and this one, tarnished cor coronet, mildewed, chemise, chemis. Um, this class 3 light armor set is something completely new. Uh, might it be in any way connected with the bosses we've encountered? Not sure. Oh yes! Because this is this is the outfit of the Southern Knight. I only now realized that the, the horned helmet is so um iconic i guess it's a skyrim uh, thing but it's it's really it's, it's really unique and but i only just connected the dots i don't know how so okay this is the outfit of the sudden knight interesting so what i'll do right now is i will go on and just buy it a piece of it because I think there is like no way we'll encounter this set in any other way than just through buying it from this guy so let's decide uh, probably we'll decide on the helmet yes let's see it battle worn horned helmet over the sudden night exactly um it's twice as heavy everything is better than our leather helmet but arcane defense and weight but let's see it oh and we are not fat rolling with this if if, if i'm correct oh it, it did not affect our roll nice so it's just a straight up improvement for us awesome Okay, this is locked from the other side. I don't know how to um, how to how to deal with that gate just yet. Uh, okay, I did a little bit more of backtracking because I remembered that we actually never really um, went. Um, up to the castle that this one adventurer was talking uh, about, we basically, I, 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 I dropped from up there here and we left, went left, and now we are going right. Okay. Pitchfork and a pouch of salt. A pitchfork. An agricultural tool consisting of a three-pronged iron 
head affixed to the end of a wooden shaft, arguably better known as a makeshift weapon taken up by destitute peasants and angry mobs than for its intended purpose of pitching hay and compost. Class Zero Spear. Oh my god, the scaling is insane though. But I do not think, yeah, it's not up to par mm, with what we are currently using. Oh, we get um, a tutorial message how to drop down. Let's go back to our friend. Oh, an interesting thing, he, I, if I remember correctly, he was standing right here. So he's not here anymore. Hmm. Let's check out this castle, Bandit's Pass. Bandit's Pass. Oh, we can totally go here and go in, can we? Ooh, a new sanctuary. Hello, traveler, you're a stranger to Devara's light, are you not? I am. We are pilgrims of the goddess Devara, illuminator of all. Without light, there is nothing. It is said in darkness chaos dwells, and in chaos there is no hope. Every night the sun sets and we see her light flicker in candles and torches. But the dawn of the next day is her blessing, chaos is quelled, order is restored. Those who do not follow the Vara are still welcome in this sanctuary. We will see to it that you receive rest and resupply. Oh my god, these are the nice guys. Pray to Devara at the earthen vessel, the water she pours will cleanse the shadows from your heart. Okay, I can do that. Mm, I can take oath. And see, in the top left corner, um, our um, these roots that we had from the, um, the tree sanctuary in the forest. Let's call it that, because I totally forgot the name of the place. Uh, was changed into Water of Blessing. And I do still wonder if there are any differences between these healing items. So we can take another oath. Hmm. I'll have to look into it and probably make a decision rather soon. Because I want to explore what this has to offer, but maybe just not yet. I really like the little, uh, the little mixture that we have on our belt right now. It's glowing. Stone cell sword. Okay. If I remember correctly, the adventurer that we've encountered said something about this being like a blocked path, and you were forced to go through the village. So, what was the deal with that? Over a secret. Okay, Bell of Return, we know that item. I'll, I guess we'll do some exploring here before going back. Okay, we can totally climb. We can totally climb another one of those obelisks. Twin metal ring and something else. Let's check out the ring first. Uh, a bluish metal ring is very pretty. Um, resembling twisting thorns, flesh and bone are weak things, but the fist of the ring's wearer may seem strong and wrought iron. Dramatically improves unarmed melee damage. Okay, let me hydrate. So there is a possibility of... Um, of being an unarmed warrior going through the game with such a build. Interesting. I see more items. Oh. Nicely. How do I get there is the question. 
can be acquired through jumping down. Oh, I don't know how to get there, actually. Hmm. Maybe this place isn't accessible right now. Oh, there's something here. Flanked mace. Mm. A sturdy iron mace with an elegant flanked head designed to concentrate the force of its impact. Lethal and easy handled in spite of, or perhaps thanks to, its simplicity. It is particularly effective against armored or otherwise brittle opponents. Class 0 hammer with a decent uh, scaling, but it is outperformed currently by what I have. And there was one more thing that we, uh, we've looted with this thing. Birian fire pot, a clay pot of Birian fire. Uh, there is, uh, the recipe for true Birian fire is a closely guarded secret. The stuff in this pot is probably only a close approximation of it. Some kind of a lost art, I guess. Hello, my friend. So that's that. Let's continue forward. Oh, I see enemies. Use arrows here, toxic. I, I don't like the sound of that. Snap that guy. And this one too. Welcome, welcome. Oh, made a backstep. Double kill. How many of you are there? Oh, nice backstep by that one. Platoon crossbow. Okay, a new weapon. A new weapon just dropped. Um, where is it? Here it is. Class one crossbow, so we cannot wield it. A basic mass-produced crossbow commonly issued to light infantry regiments and soldiers on guard duty. And designed more for a large-scale economy than actual effectiveness in battle, its simple components and solid construction nevertheless provide great reliability. Interesting. Oh, this is a new type of an enemy up there. Oh, he's throwing axes. Oh my god, the range! On that guy. Well, he's not very tanky, or I'm just over leveled for this area. No, sit down, doggy. Nice. We are doing quite all right. Raiders, Targe, and Harness. It three times because of subpar. Okay, subpar movement. Root guys, let me read what I got. Um, what did I get? I don't remember. Not it. Oh, harness, yes. Um, class 1 heavy armor, interesting. A four-lined leather harness worn by raiders. These are raiders. 
uh, provides a surprising amount of protection. Riders are common threats in the forest highlands over the continent of Ascaria, but many tribes are willing to work as swords to the royal army. Okay, it's a little bit of lore. And I think I got one more thing. But what it was uh, escaped me. Oh, this thing. Raider's Targe. Is it a shield? Round shield. An iron round shield of the style carried uh, by Markdor's Grey Raiders, a notorious band of outlaws known for their brazen attacks on caravans and merchant shipping. The Grey Raiders rose to infamy after a thwarting repeated attempts by the Dorian military to stamp them out, but the group was finally eradicated by Ascarian mercenaries after the High Council branded them enemies of the state and issued bounties for their heads. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Class 1 shield. A lot of lore. We are getting a lot of lore. And this is imperfect. For this particular episode, as uh, my voice is not in the best state. How do we get up there? I see an item up, up there. How, how, how does one jump that high? No idea. Let's continue forward. Perfectly done. Okay, I killed him midair, that was well done, and I took no full damage. This is perfect. Uh, Drown Rider's Ear, okay. Now we get the Ear of a Drowned Raider. Mm, here. A, a new ear just dropped. Ear of a Drowned Raider, a, a relentless, brutal, and mindless barbarian that most likely patrolled Bandit's Pass. Yes, this is the area in which we are currently uh, residing. Um, and they do kind of uh, give me this Viking um, Raider um, vibe with the way they look. Uh, a shipwrecked raider was most likely a sellsword sent to fight another king's war, but on this island the rotted remains of those warriors seem to have settled into something resembling mindless banditry. Okay, and some... Ushanka, oh, a hat. A unique fur-like leather hat favored by raiders. This versatile accessory can be worn in several ways in order to adjust the level of warmth it provides, making it suitable for a wide variety of weather conditions. Heavy, uh, class 1 heavy armor, where's the what I have? Uh, and I... Uh, 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 uh. Maybe boots? Yes. Portianki. Four trimmed leather boots worn by raiders. Raider boots are crafted for exceptional durability and emphasizes function over form, uh, a necessary compromise given their violent and lawless ways. Okay, so we, we are collecting raider gear. I think we are just missing um, gauntlets. Constantly going up. Where is this castle with, with with a dragon? Flame arrow. N not that I'm eager to die by the hands or by the teeth uh, of a dragon, but I'm really s curious where the place is. Infantry poleaxe. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, class one Polax, that's nice because we have a class one greatsword. Let's see it. Mm. Low scaling, relatively. Mm. This variation of the standard halberd's 
short uh, crescent blade rather than a traditional convex axe head. Slightly more ornate than its utilitarian counterparts, but considerably less practical as a result. This design is typically limited to ceremonial use, and is most commonly carried by guardsmen on formal occasions. Ah, what would such guard... That was uncalled for. What would such a guardsman uh, do in such a place? Hmm. Is this an elevator? Interesting. Jester brand required. I do not know what that is, and I suspect I do not have it, so let's just get on. Uh, see, it doesn't move. There's no lever, there's no switch. So at that end, for now. For now. I don't like this. Scary place ahead. Chain coif and chain gauntlets, and that's it over here. Let's get out of here. Hmm, cow made of chain links, plus one heavy armor, kind of inferior to what we currently have because we bought this amazing helmet but it's probably better than this right yeah slash defense is ridiculous in comparison to the rogue mask we were using oh, yeah we were using the leather uh this leather helmet next mm -hmm. oh and one more thing change something is it gauntlets Leather gloves reinforced, uh, reinforced with chain links. Hmm. Better magic resist. Fire, lightning, poison. I don't know if poison is considered ma uh, magic. Holy arcane. And balance, but worse. Uh, wait. As I have um, encountered no... Um, or like little elemental damage so far. I think I will stick to our plate gauntlets for now. Okay, so we have some kind of a shortcut here that requires something. I saw an item there. No, it wasn't an item. Oh, is this the castle? Another friendly NPC. Amazing. Well, well, well. Oh, this is the guy that was the very first NPC we met. That um, basically greeted us when we got washed ashore. Well, well, well. Looks like this is the end of the road for you, friend. If memory serves me right, the obelisk here is your door into the castle. I knew there was something up with those obelisks. I knew they carry some importance. What do you mean, though? The key, however, now that's a different story. Okay, so obelisks are doors, uh, but we need a key, some kind of a key. Probably this is how we get those places high up. Perhaps you should search the area below those seaside ruins where a forgotten feast festers. I've been there. I think it always helps to go back to the start. But you started over this island can go back there, can you? I think it always helps to go back to the start, but you started over this island can't go back there, can you? What do you mean by that? Let's 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 go up here, but I think this place might be locked. 
Yeah, unavailable to us. Hmm. Okay, so the castle is here, but we have to go back. Oh well. I, I, I'll backtrack. Hello, hello, welcome back. Through the magic of the cinema, there was a cut. And now we're in a completely different place. Um, I was backtracking through the um, sudden, the sudden night uh, domain, and I've encountered a new item that we have missed. It's right here. Stone cleric. I think what, I know what it does. I don't know whether I've found that one already, but I think I know what it does. Probably summons a cleric to the sanctuary. Oh, hello, Doggy Chan. Um, okay, uh, hello back. Um, a, a, a funny uh, thing. Um, after meeting our friendly grand grandpa who was talking something about going back to the start, um, I just ran left towards the shore and look what I found. An item is here. Okay. Great peril. Uh, I thought it would be like something, something more. So the, the key that he was uh, speaking of. Well, we'll see later uh, down the path. Um, welcome back. Um, I've been doing some more backtracking, and we are in the area right above the boss area um of the queen of smiles and looking to the right here there's like an item but i don't really know how to access it i totally missed that one when i first came here but there is like a uh, a wall here and i don't really know how to access it maybe from the other side i was like sitting here for a for a moment trying to figure it out but i Oh, there, there are doors here. M maybe through here. Maybe through here. Suspicious cart? But there's like... Hmm. There's a wall here. How, how do we get there? I, I don't know. Oh, and there is another one of those. Gravestones. I think I know what this might be. Was this like a bloodstain of another player, another player's uh, death? Th that's how it looked. It, it certainly wasn't me. I do not use uh, that type of a weapon. I've never used that type of a weapon. Huh. Curious. Like, I, I, it looks like this is the correct way to go to get the, the secret item, but uh, I don't know how to get there. Jumping doesn't work, uh, stabbing and slashing doesn't work, and rolling doesn't work. Huh. I'll figure it out eventually, but I don't know yet. Yeah, this is the, the chamber, there's a chamber down there. Maybe behind one of the barrels? <laughs> Is this some kind of a switch? A ladder hidden here? No clue. No. Well, we'll figure it out um, next time. Hello again, uh, a lot of cuts in this uh, episode, but I didn't want to leave all of that running around and backtracking in. I've just remembered, while looking at this ogre, the first ogre we've encountered, that there was a path down here that we uh, took. And what I remember from it is, at its end, yeah, these weird enemies to the left, 
at its end, there was like this, like, something like a boss arena, a boss arena looking area that we totally, uh, I, I noped out of this place in the last episode, but let's check it out this time. I, I guess there was something more to explore in the watching woods. This is a friendly NPC. Well met, Soldborn. <laughs> we are Soldborn. I am not like you, born of salt. I, I've never realized that the, the mouth of the NPCs move. I am born of that life that flickers like flame. I am summoned by the Song of Souls, spelled in candlelight, written by the drowning Soulborn. Your world is cold and stifling. My light is fleeting here. Ooh. The Soulborn is to be a dying fragment of eternity. To be born of light is to be truly living, yet so ephemeral. Is she in any way, shape, or form related to the sanctuary that we've encountered in, or like, a little bit ago? These uh, followers of the, um, the, the Lady Light, the Light Lady. <laughs> okay, she has nothing to say. We can buy something from her. Evanescent gear, cow. Light armor, basically class three, and expensive at that. And that's all she has. Okay, cleanse. You are not corrupted. Well, oh, that's good to hear. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be corrupted. And forgive sin. You have no sin. Hmm. Globe rightly saltborn. I'll try. Interesting. Hmm. Band of the humble. New ring just dropped. A plain wooden ring. The wealthy and uh, auspicious delight in expensive metals and gems, but the truly devout need little to focus on their faith. Increases wisdom. Okay. Hmm. What a weird sanctuary. I mean, not in a literal sense. Uh, there is no literal sanctuary here, but it looks like one. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we can cross that uh, off the list. Um, another thing I was uh, thinking about, basically, was that we... I have... I, I, I don't believe that there is a way for us to... Um, improve the amount of HP that we have. I have not seen a node like this um, in the the Tree of Skill, uh, so, and I have not really noticed uh, the amount of HP in top left corner of the screen to be going up, but I think I would have just, we just have to assume that, um, uh, you know, we just have to assume that we get a little bit of HP with every level. Oh, we are back here. In, in this cursed place. I have not enjoyed my stay. Leave and never come back. Oh no. Of course. Oh my goodness, he's so agile. Go down, my friend, go down. Okay. I just want to get back to where I was. Um, you know, I, I just want to get back to where I was at the end of the last episode. Without falling down, please, this, this place absolutely destroyed me. Oh my goodness, everything is like messing me up today. The... 
suddenly oh, oh no i oh no oh no please die i believe we will have to do some more backtracking because i don't see a way back another way back you stay there on the ground you mr cytoplasm and leave me alone I believe this is the way Oof, almost dropped down again. God dang bats, pissing me off. Good arrows. My goodness. Okay. I mean, it is very funny when they just fly off into the distance. You come here, Mr. Bat. One after another. Great range on my weapon. Raptor Sabatons, I, I think I do have that. I don't. No, I do. It's totally duplicated and it's not next to one another. Okay. Maybe we'll be able to sell it. I don't remember seeing that option. But it must be an option. It's just... Uh... Oh, when you attack! Interesting, they can spit... And spit poison. Almost died. And you are going down, my friend. You are going... I'm already poisoned. You are going down for the sins that you've committed. Bloated monstrosity ear. Oh! I... Oh no. I was totally not paying attention. Was the poison so strong? I, I thought all of the... Po See, this is what... I'm over relying on my experience with Dark Souls um, because you know in that game I believe every types of poison are the same when you just get poisoned or oh, it's like you are poisoned so whether a mosquito poisons you or another um, enemy it's all the same and here we're getting hit so hard but I, I, ju I just wasn't paying attention and look look how far I am uh this is unfortunate we got our revenge okay we're back that was difficult that was a long journey Let's just level up. Because I'm losing my salt left and right today. Let's see the tree of skill. Uh, we are still working towards... Um, yeah. Class 4 heavy armor. Definitely taking that. And we can either get willpower and then get endurance, or get strength and get endurance. I think focus... Hmm. Let's get strength for now. We'll get better willpower nodes, I believe. I hope. Um... Oh, but might we want to go up for this additional healing potion? That is the question. I think I will. Two hand class four, yeah? This is some good stuff over here. Okay, fine. Let's take uh, willpower and endurance. And with three more levels, we'll have class five heavy armor. Can I swing four times now? Oh yes, I can. Amazing. Um, 
nothing is new to say. You want to give a wood strength? No, nope. I don't know. Not yet, man. Not yet. Let's go. Let's move forward into the unknown. Finally. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to see. Oh. What? What are you? How disgusting. Oh. Oh, no. We got fucked up. We got fucked up. This is why. This is why we spend the points. For a situation such as this one. I mean... They did gang up on me, but I, I, I just couldn't move. Well, let's try again. Good, good that I rested at that shrine, at, at that sanctuary. Okay, before they can spawn. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. Nice. Nice. I wanted to exterminate them as quickly as possible. As possible, do not let them um, form a group, a power group. Endless Fang, Soldier's Poem, Stone Blacksmith. Okay, let's move backwards. Maybe there will be a shortcut. Ugh, some can keep a completely new location and going forward. Uh, more of us over the sunken keep, huh? You know, let's go here. Maybe this is a sanctuary, huh? <laughs> Shh. This guy scared me again. Bell of return. It's as if the game is trying to tell me something. Where does this lead? Not yet, man. Not yet. Maybe there's a sanctuary somewhere here. Oh, I cannot access this. I really like the background in here. Oh, the, the pretty candles, the, the castle in the background, the ruined fortress. We are kind of underground, too. Oh, Someone dropped down. Oh, this guy too. Nice. Fetch feather more. Okay, so fetch feathers or fetch feeders. We'll see. A more. That's probably transmutation material. Um. Yes, fetch feeder more. Um, a beast of Kraken origin, so similarly to uh, Bronze Knights. Not Fetch Feeder, why was I saying it like that? Wretch Feeder. Oh, I have a fever, I guess. Too many de deaths. Mm, Wretch Fever is a feed on the effluent of living things and are especially... Uh, found of human waste, or they are fond of human waste. Um, this font is really weird, I, I have to say. I know I'm misspeaking a lot and mispronouncing things and misreading things, but this font is definitely not helping. As they are especially fond of human waste. They'd almost be doing the world a favor if their own waste wasn't several orders of magnitude worse. Transmutational material are exchanged with a leader. Okay. Huh. Would you spare a coin? Would you spare a sanctuary for a lowly knight? I don't like going right. I don't right go I, I don't like going right so we'll be oh. oh it's it's uh mm. Oh 
they almost killed me again. They have like uh, a lot of stamina. They swing and swing and keep on swinging until they kill you. I was going to say this place doesn't look nice, but it was like a land, a light, light being emitted from this candle, and it looked like a green um, poison in the air. Similarly here. Oh, you know, wretch feeders. More will come, I can... I'm sure. Oh, yes. They are dangerous. They are dangerous foes. This looks like a boss battle. I don't want to go to the right. Give me a sanctuary, please. Oh. Can I interact with you, please? This also looks like a boss battle. No. <laughs> no. Hugger's Cavern. And this looks like certain death. <laughs> hmm. Okay. What do we do? Suddenly we are back to uh, de dealing with a maze. A complete and utter maze. We can go to the right, we can go uh, up and then to the right, and we can go down into the cavern and we can, we can fall down too. Uh, we can go to the left. Huh. Let's go down. And we can go to, to the left there. <laughs> but let's go down here first. Okay. What gives us this item? Warhammer. A two handed. Cousin of the humble hammer, this somewhat unwieldy instrument is designed for combat rather than carpentry. Its considerable weight makes it difficult to use effectively, but also provides its spiked face with unparalleled striking force, making it supremely effective against brittle targets and heavy armor. That's awesome. Ooh, it's an upgrade? Is it an... I swear our attack goes up, like, by 20. It's ridiculous. It has a, t a, a, a descaling, but uh, it has, um, I guess, so much base damage. We'll have to use it. I'll have to look into Warhammers, I guess. Can you jump up? Thank you. Okay. I cannot, for the life of me, jump up. Yes. Please. Okay. So let's go left too. Let's check, check, check it out. Check the place out. Sunken key. Maybe this is a dead end. Who knows? Frozen doll. Frozen doll. No. A wooden doll. A soldier held it to remind him of his family back home. Its memories can be used by a blacksmith to upgrade weapons. Interesting. So some re... It must be a re... It must be a rare item, a r really rare material. Okay, so we just activated this um, elevator. Let's check this place out. Where does this lead? Drop it and run. I was afraid it might crush us. It might, maybe it does. A ring. Cr 
crystal moon. Is this what I got? Crystal moon ring. Mind and body are inherently linked, but wise practitioners of mindfulness are able to form ethereal modes of spirit effectively compartmentalizing the effects of metal, mental and physical tasks halves effect of focus usage on fatigue oh this is the area that looks like a boss area Kraken Cyclops? oh my goodness You look dangerous, my friend. Oh. Hew, hew, hew. Okay. You're getting tossed around. completely tossed around. This one spiky enemy is scary looking. We have to delay our rolls. Delay our rolls, I say. And then I roll instantly. Okay. Yeah, he instantly. Okay, we are bringing him down. Okay, this, this is one nasty attack. Oh, he caught us. Oh, but he doesn't seem to be that powerful is he this was a, a very good try i think Oof. i i hesitated with using our uh our healing okay i i think we can take him take him on but how do we get there safely oh, this place is cursed I see. I cannot see anything. Okay, went well. It only cost us uh, one, a, a little bit of HP. Okay, the run back is certainly manageable. I think we can take him on totally. I'm not afraid of you. Mr. Cyclops, Kraken Cyclops, he definitely looks imposing. Yeah, this is an opening early game, and then it's an opening no longer. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Yes, yes, he's delaying his attacks. That hit us. Oh yeah, it's it it has started. No, oh, he likes to delay this. 
scout roll through that, or can I? <laughs> we are getting tossed around. He jumped up last time, with like an insane jump. We just tanked that one. Let's see. Yeah, you can run through it. And through that too. Nice, nicely done. Easy peasy. Oof. Vanquished. The keep beat the Kraken Cyclops. <laughs> Good work. Oh, I was looking into my camera and then I looked to my left and to the left of the screen and I saw like two items that we got. I have to learn to look uh, after I defeat the boss because I may miss some items. Okay, what did we get is the question. Let's look for something that wasn't here in the first place. Which is not so easy to spot always, because what if I get a new set of armor that is totally crossed out and you can, like, cannot figure out what it is or whether you had it already. Yeah, we had that mace. Was it a charm that we got? Increases attack reach, speed, no, we had those things. Willpower, mm -mm -mm. oh, green key, an ornate green key. Okay, we got a green key. And maybe some ashes, an ear possibly. Oh, look at this, no, that's bloated monstrosity. Kraken Cyclops Horn. Mm, the Thundering Behemoth was slaughtered on land, though Kraken are said to be sea creatures. I see. Are Bronze Knights uh, sea creatures too? Okay, this is... I have to say, this is great news. Yeah. It, this is the certain death place. <laughs> Don't go there. Looks scary. Very scary. Uh, so let's go check out what's to the left of the elevator. I'm really interested in... in I'm really interested in... Interacting with these doors. They totally look like you can interact with them. There we go. Great Pearl. Oh no, we are back. We are back. We are back and we are about to fall down. No, no, I cannot be doing this. Actually, can I respawn with those? No, I cannot. Well, that was a... That was a bad idea. But can it possibly be that... Oh, they respawned. I just have to jump properly. Yes. Oh my god. We did it. I don't know what I got. But yes, this place totally connects to the Watching Woods. Now we know. This is the place I died in last time. What did we get, though? What did we get? I should really start looking at what I'm doing and only then speak to the camera and turn my head. Was it a doll? I, I, will, I will check it on recording and we will check those items um, in the next episode.
They have two jumps. I I I I, I just remembered. Okay, let's go back to the sanctuary. That guy was uh That guy wasn't that tough. He was he was manageable. I think we are progressing um let me finish that all the next time when you get out of here. Okay, now I can speak. I think that guy wasn't too hard of a boss. I really enjoyed the fight. It was a little bit similar to the mm, to the Southern Knight, though, uh, in which um, in, in both fights you were able to roll under um, the jump attack that they were performing and. Um, hit them early, that was the opening, and in the latter stages of the fight they were trying to instantly hit you after that attack. So, thanks to our experiences with the Sodded Knight, we were able to take that guy on fast and efficiently. My goodness! Don't don't fall down. Yes, j just go to the sanctuary. Oof. Okay. Wow. Level up. How many levels? Three black pearls, and that probably means we can. Mm, we can take a uh, class 5 heavy armor and it will give us three points of endurance. I'm not gonna think much about it. Let's go. Let's see whether we can uh, wield something uh, heavier. For example, this Kraken armor that we had. Look at this beauty. We are still not able to, that's sad. Hm. Well. Oh well. <laughs> oh well, you know, what, what can I say? We will get it sometime. Maybe we will buy another piece of Sodden Knight armor, because as you can see in the bottom left corner we have 3.4 K of gold just waiting to be spent. But that will uh, do it for today's episode. Another day of great uh, progress. Actually, my throat is not hurting that bad, so uh, I somehow managed. And hmm, what else can I say? I'm having great, uh, great fun and will be maneuvering through this uh, maze of new areas in the very next uh, episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, but only if you feel like it. Um, and see you guys in the very next one. Bye bye!